This one simple trick can enable your local LLM to do test time scaling. Test time scaling is this new technique. During the time of inference, you let the model think longer. And a lot of models like O1, O3, in fact, DeepSeek, and all these models have become popular and they've become more intelligent because they could think longer. But what if I told you that you can do the same thing with local DeepSeek distal models on your local computer just today? I'm going to show you, first of all, the result of this. Then I'm going to take you to the paper that actually shows how to do that. And if you get to know how to do that, you might actually laugh at me because it is so ridiculously simple. First of all, I've got my Visual Studio code on. This is an MLX code, so this was shared by Avni Hannum, who's a prime maintainer of MLX library. But I think this implementation will be easier for us to do it on Llama CPP as well, but that is for another video. So I've got a two terminal, you can see here, I've got this screen and this screen. So in the first one, I'm going to this model, DeepSeek R1 Distilled Quen 1.5 billion parameter model. So you know that this is one of the sim smallest DeepSeek Distilled models available out there. So I went and asked a simple question. How many R's are there in the word Superman? See, this is the question that you can go ask a lot of different LLMs and most of the LLMs will now start raving about just Superman. For example, I can show you here. So if I go ask Olama run uh, a Quen model. So Quen, let me just get the model name here. So if I just do it for this particular model, you can see that this model is going to not give anything close to the answer just for you to understand that this is a trick question. So if I ask this, this model would just go, it says like there are 20 letters. Some models would say that Superman as a word doesn't exist because there are four R's in it. So anyways, this is a trick question. It's not like a strawberry because you cannot say that it's part of training data. Now, when you ask the same question to this model, the same model, DeepSeek R1 Distal Quinn 1.5 billion parameter model without any test time scaling, then this model just goes onto this different tangent and then says, oh, to solve the problem, I need to figure out how many times the letter R comes in. And then it says all these things, but it never gives me the answer. As you can see here, it didn't give me the answer. It just took peak memory of 4 GB and uh, no answer at all. Now, if we just make certain changes to the model, I've got a different code. And uh, if we use this particular code that was shared by Avni Hannam, then this model for the same question, I can say, how many R's are there in the word Superman? And you can see one, two, three, four. Now it just starts going into the right direction. And then it says, okay, I've got a count. There are four R's. And then it in fact verifies finally. And then it lists everything. And then it counts again. And it gives me the answer four without making any mistake for this trick question. And how did it do? It did thanks to a new implementation by Avni Hannam, which is based on this amazing paper called S1 Simple Test Time Scaling. And the trick that they're using is so ridiculously simple that all they are doing here is if you have got a think open and close tag. So typically in all these models, what are you getting? You're getting a think open tag and you're getting a think close tag, right? So this is how the model thinks. And then finally, there is an answer tag from which we get the answer back. So this is what we did even with our um, uh, the training of deep seek fine tuning, right? This is exactly what we did. Now, what this team is doing is they're saying, okay, instead of think, I'm going to let the model use the word wait and make the model think longer. I mean, as simple as it sounds. So as you can see here, so test time scaling is a promising new approach to language modeling that uses extra test time compute to improve performance. Test time means the time when you interact with the model, the inference time. So, but there are like a lot of information there. I'm not going to extensively cover this paper. I want to do this separately on a different video. But for now, if you see, we develop a budget forcing to control the test time compute by forcefully terminating the model's thinking process or lengthening it by appending weight multiple times to the model's generation when it tries to end. This can lead the model to double check its answer, often fixing incorrect reasoning steps. And you can see the um, result here. Test time scaling with S1 32 billion parameter model here, you can see. And as you increase the average thinking time just by appending more weight and weight and weight, the model gets to do wonders, even like smaller models. And that is something that you can verify. So this is currently running with MLX, which is an Apple platform. So I am so sorry if you are on a different computer. This one, if you want to right now try after watching this video, you can do it only with Apple computer. The way you can do it is you have to install this particular library called MLX LM. So this will install MLX and other helper script. 
once you install MLX LM, then you have to download the Quen for uh, the thinking model. In this case, the DeepSeq R1 Distill Quen 1.5 billion parameter model. So you need to download this model locally. So as you can see here, I've downloaded this model. After you download this model, then this entire script will work flawlessly. So what we're doing is after we download the model one, we are going to the model and asking the simple question, the same question that we can ask anything. Like for example, I'm going to stop this process, clear this up here, I'm going to clear this up here. And uh, I'm going to just go ask a simple question. So let the question be something like this. How many um, B is in B big basket? Okay, so just there are two B's, right? Okay, let's ask. Uh, let's see if it answers first time. Okay, I'm going to just forcefully add a typo there. So I'm going to add another B here so that it doesn't pick the word from its dictionary. So we have got three B's there. So save it. And I'm going to just run this here and this is MLX demo my code MLX demo you can see it's going to explore this and it's yeah it's it's going in weird direction right it says okay how many C's I didn't even ask about C and it doesn't give me the right answer it because it's a smaller model it doesn't understand the question whatever the reason is it is trying to do something but it is not helping it and then it didn't give me the answer it is the same model I don't have any other model you can go see here I have got the same model location here not a different model and I'm going to go ask the same question to this model now. So let's copy the question literally. And see, this is the question that I'm distinct for now. If the demo fails, I'm really, really sorry. I'm going to ask first how many bees in big basket and uh, <laughs> why it's it obviously it goes in a lot of different direction. Okay, first I need to determine how many times 12. Okay, it it didn't work in this particular case, which is quite shameful for me to say on a video. But uh, let's try another question. So I'm going to just go ahead and then say um which one is heavier uh, uh human with 70 kg or a an aeroplane with um aeroplane of weight 5 4 kg okay so i'm just going to ask this question and then see if it works in this particular case Unfortunately, my demo failed, but it works. Most of the time it worked. Only this question that I picked during the recording did not work. And I don't want to edit the video to give you false promises. So I'm going to just keep it on mlxdemo.py and um, it's going to try to answer. I have to stop this process. It's just repeating and repeating and repeating. And then, yeah, it doesn't give me any answer. The same model, let's give a try now. Same question I'm going to post. Okay, it's trying to compare. So therefore the human is heavier. Okay, so it says, first I need to compare the weight of a human weighing 80 and uh, since 80 is significantly larger than four kilo, then the human is weight. So what I wanted to know is whether it will consider that the airplane is supposed to be big and all those kind of training data, but it stuck with what I gave in the prompt and then gave the final answer. Some of my previous prompt did not work. It always happens with me whenever I try to show something new and innovative, it always breaks. But for now this code works most of the time and I did not check any benchmark, but if I were to check benchmarks run against any benchmark eval suit, I would say that this would work wonders. So this is test time scaling locally in my local computer. I've got 36 GB RAM and the fact that this, this test time scaling works locally is quite amazing. There are certain hyper parameters that you can tweak and then make the model think longer and further. Like for example, I can say, would you like to think, would you like me to think longer? I can say why, and then it will start going on thinking longer and again, do certain things. And it, it, uh, you know, give me the, gives me the final answer. So you can make this model forcefully think longer and longer. And this is test time scaling for local LLMs. I did not expect that this would come. And this amazing paper is there. I'm definitely hoping to cover this paper more. And thanks to Avni Hannam, the MLX maintainer to release this code and soon enough I would love to make a tutorial about how to do this for other platforms like probably using LLM Llama CPP. Until that, see you in next video. Uh, smash the like button if you are still here. See you in another video. Happy prompting.